Using a smart speaker to keep your kids on task for distance learning. Rich Jamiro live from home with today's Tech Smart. And Rich, I know we're going to talk about something else, but before we do, tomorrow ha Apple has their big announcement. They're doing it virtually, apparently. And normally you'd be up in Cupertino, you know, getting ready for this because you're one of the few uh, reporters who even nationally get to go. Uh, have you been invited? What do you expect? That kind of thing. Y you know, Invites are a lot easier to get these days, but yes, I'm invited, but it's all virtual. I was thinking about that this morning. Normally, I'd be waking up on this Monday morning and flying up to Cupertino for the big event tomorrow. Uh, that's not happening, but I will be covering it all right here from home, just like every other journalist. And I will, of course, Chris and Megan, bring you all the updates. We're looking forward to new Apple Watches, new iPads, and eventually new iPhones. Probably not tomorrow, though, but we'll see. All right, now today, let's move on to this. Everyone is working and learning from home. And of course, juggling all those multiple schedules can be tricky. So today I'm showing you how a smart speaker can remind the kids when Zoom class is in session. With mom, dad, two kids, and a dog working, playing, and schooling from home. It's been a little hectic. But Santa Clarita mom, Jennifer Rapkine, is determined to keep everyone on schedule. One of our daughters logs in at 810. The other one logs in at 815. So she posted on Facebook for suggestions. I can't expect an eight-year-old to know to do that just inherently on her own. She found other parents using everything from Fitbits to Google Assistant to keep kids on task. They settled on Alexa, since they already had the smart speaker. Remind me to check Everly's writing homework at 10 a.m. Popular virtual assistants can handle one-time or recurring reminders. Remind me to log into Mac at 2 p.m. With Alexa, say, remind me, or open the app and look for reminders and alarms. With Google, say, set a reminder. Or check out the Family Bell feature in the Google Home app. It can announce upcoming activities on a recurring schedule. Three, two, one. It's a prime time for math time. With Siri, you can have your reminders trigger across all of your Apple devices. Go to iCloud settings and toggle the reminder switch on. Then create reminders in the app or use your voice. Hey Siri, remind me to check Madison's math homework at 2 p.m. today. Smart speakers now a virtual school bell too. And I think that's also setting her up for success for how the real world works in the future to get those reminders and to be prepared for things. Absolutely, because when you become my age, no one tells you that you got to wake up at 3 a.m. every day to be on TV. Just got to do it yourself. All right. Uh, one other thing I like to do is to set timers with these smart speakers. Uh, that's especially handy for extracurricular activities like Minecraft, Roblox, YouTube. You can see the instructions on how to do all of this on my website. Just go to richontech.com. TV. Megan and Chris, do, does anyone remind you guys to wake up in the morning? I don't think so. No. Nope. We all have multiple alarms. Multiple alarms. We've even is the way to go. Uh, talked Henry into having multiple alarms. It took like eight years for him to Of him, to him actually, being late. Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> but eventually, maybe I should get a second alarm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't do the multiple alarms. I'm just saying, I do one. And if it doesn't work, well, I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Rich. Jeez. Good for him. That's what that's I what He's a rebel. Henry, that's, that's he's living dangerously. He's tried to pull for you know, many 